So vector subtraction works in pretty much the same way as vector addition. It's the same as just uh, addition and subtraction with real numbers. So, for example, say we had the numbers 3 minus 2. That's the same thing as saying 3 plus negative 2. Um, and so the, both of those statements, would they would both equal 1. Now this works the same with vectors. So say we had vector v minus vector u. This is the same as saying v plus negative u. Right? So now if we assign actual values to these vectors, let's say, well, let's go over here. Let's say vector v is equal to, let's say, 3, 6. Now let's say vector u is equal to, uh, let's say, 2, negative 1. So if we were to add, or sorry, if we were to subtract vector u from vector v, we would say, we would write it like this, we would say v minus u is equal to vector v, 3, 6, minus vector u, which is 2 minus 1. Now, if we were to set it up like this way, we could say this is also the same as v plus negative u, and we could write our vector v, 3, 6, plus the negative of u, which would be negative 2 and 1. Right? And so when we do this, this is just follows the rules of standard vector addition, so it would be 3 plus negative 2 for our x component, that would equal 1, and 6 plus 1 for our y component, that would equal 7. Now we could skip this step and we could just look up here and we would say, well, right, so 3 minus 2 is 1 and 6, plus, 6 minus negative 1 is the same as 6 plus 1, so that's, that's 7. But the reason we do it like this way is, well, I'll show you graphically. So if we want to plot vectors v and u, well, vector v is 3, 6, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like so. This is vector v, and vector u is 2, negative 1, so go 1, 2, down 1, like that. This is vector u. So now, if we want to find out what v minus u is, if we do it this way, we can, we can follow the rules of standard uh, vector addition. So if we, if we say v plus the negative of u, we would follow the tip to tail rule and we would put negative u starting here and we would go over 2 and up 1 to this point. Right? And then that would give us the new vector v minus u, which would look something like this. It's a little hard to see because the axis, but I think you can figure that out. This is v minus u. v minus u. Now, what is this? This is, well, I'll show you what this is. If we, if we were to make our parallelogram like we did in the first, in the addition video, it would look like this. We could say we could start v here, and we could do the same thing. We could go 1, 2, 3, and then up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we could just as well have drawn v there. And u, we could just as well have drawn 2, negative 1, like so, u. Now, what we remember from vector addition was uh, if we added v plus u, we would get this vector here, this main diagonal, like so. And that main diagonal would be v plus u. That would be 5, so let's say v plus u would equal 5 and 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to that point. Now, <clears throat> with vector subtraction, if you look at this blue vector here, it's, uh, you know, we'll go back to blue, we'll say, well, v minus u, as we found out up here, is 1, 7. One, oops. 1, 7. Now, if you look at the opposite, there's one extra diagonal in here that we haven't looked at yet. But if you start here, and 
you go over 1, then up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you get this diagonal. So what vector subtraction gives you is just the other diagonal in the parallelogram that we talked about in the first edition video for vectors.